Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Jay's Beer Review. As you can see, I'm in vacation. I'm in Jamaica, which is Runaway Bay. Jamaica, Jamaica. I guess that's how you say it. And I'm in my peerless pool, as you can see. I got the ocean right behind me. And I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I can't get in the States. And this one is called the Crib Lager. Now the Crib Lager is actually a beer made out of, it says Trinidad WI. So that's where I'm going to say it's from. And this beer weighs in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. Now traditionally when you're in Jamaica, the beer you drink the most is Red Stripe. And I've been drinking Red Stripe all week. But I've already done a review of Red Stripe. So I want to review something different. And this is the only different thing that I can get here. So that's why we're going to review. Now the glass I'm using is just your typical plastic cup because you can't have glass in the pool. So we'll make do with this. Alright, and because this cup is less than 12 ounces, I still got about a little less than half of this beer. So I'll put this aside. For starters, let's talk about the beer. Uh, the glass does a real in the injustice to the beer because it's really difficult to tell. But what you have is a very yellow, typical, or yellow beer, like your typical domestic American beer, like a Budweiser or a Miller or something like that. The carbonation is high, but you can see that it's going to fizzle out quickly. And the head is about a two finger, just foamy head that's like literally the bubbles are popping as I stand here. So you know that that's also going to dissipate quickly. The aroma? It just smells like typical generic domestic beer. And it's interesting because on the ingredients it actually says it's made with malted barley, sugar, and water. So, anyway, let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, just crap. Crap in a can. Calm. It's very much like your typical domestic beer. It's got a real sugary sweet taste to it. It's got that corn-like qualities that you find in your domestic beers. Uh, there's virtually no hops to it. It's it's made to be drinking. It's made to be cheap. It's made to be easily drunk, like in the sun and things like that. I guess it can get you by for the week that you're here, but ultimately, when it comes to my choice of beer to here this week, I'm going to take the red stripe over this because at least there's a little bit more substance to it than that stuff. But, um, you know, I did want to do uh, a review of something different and unique that I can't get or even ever heard of. I guess it's a new beer, uh, so uh, maybe they're trying to promote it. But uh, for me, I'll pass on something like this. I'm not going to lie, I did have a can of this last night and I was able to drink some of it, but once it got warm, that was it. I had to just dump it out and go with something else. And that's been the hardest part, being a craft beer enthusiast. You don't get much options, so I've drinking a lot of uh, hard liquor. And, you know, I've been drinking a lot of whiskey, a lot of scotch, just things like that, just because I can only handle stuff like this for so long. So, but when you're on vacation, you make best of what you got, and you enjoy your time nevertheless. Who can't beat this beautiful beach, beautiful ocean, sun, and this pool? Anyway, I'm not going to do a final chug today. Just want to give you an idea of what it's like being on vacation and what beer they have to offer. Uh, I would score this beer. Uh, pretty bad. I won't call it quite undrinkable, but bad is where I would rank it. Again, that was the Carib Lager. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Cheers. After three, one, two, three, go. Yeah, it's a tie.
Okay, we are leaving Jamaica. We just left the resort. We are now on the bus ride, bringing us back to the airport. And I just want to capture a little bit of the country life on my way home to get the viewerships at home who may have never ever been to other countries, what it's like living in Jamaica. And you'll, you may notice just based on the way things are going, is uh, Jamaica's drive on the left side of the road. It's a little different than America. Any country that drives the left side. And the other thing to keep in mind as we pass these houses with quickness is this is about as nice as it gets for Jamaica living. The further you go inland, the poorer and poorer you get. So, it gives you a great idea of what Jamaican life is like. Is that Stripe Brewery? Side vendors. Some fresh fruit. Typical market. Gas prices. Over there to our right, if I can zoom in. It's a big shipping tank. Big shipping ship. This is uh, one of their only means of uh, trade, which is aluminum. You'll see on the right hand side here in a moment. Big shipping tank, uh, ship, cargo ship, there it is. Great view of that, great view of that big cargo ship. See the 
rebar wires in the top of the house where it's not complete yet. And the reason why they use brick and aluminum is because Jamaica has a very big termite problem with wood. So they pretty much can't build with wood. So all their houses are made of brick and aluminum. And they get built in stages. And in the process, when they're half done, they live in them. And easily six, eight people can live in one little tiny building. Just got a quick glimpse of the police I like. They actually carry like AK 47s and things. Just in the streets randomly. Jamaica is a nice place to visit, but you gotta be smart and be safe. There's more hillside houses that people actually live in. Unfinished. Look at that. There's a door, no porch on that one. It's a store, but second story, not complete. Opposite side of that is a major resort called the Bureau Star. 